You are watching Omnis Protocol. I am Charles, also known as Omnis. And what we're going to do today is we're going to work on modifying the original tokens that came with Atomic Mass Games Marvel Crisis Protocol. So as you can see here, when you look at these tokens, they have this kind of nice acrylic sheen to them. And that's created by the Dimensional Magic product by Mod Podge. So the goal of this episode is just going to be to kind of show you guys how I did it, how it works, and maybe you can tackle it yourself. So take a look here. This is just the totally normal cardboard token. It's just covered with the dimensional magic and you let it dry. So it creates this nice cool effect and I'm going to just keep it on the screen just in case you forget what it is. But first step here is I'm just going to go ahead and cover the edges with a black Sharpie. The goal here is just to hide any of the cardboard tone in it. You could absolutely pick up um, like a blue Sharpie and a yellow Sharpie, kind of take it up a notch and try to match that color to the token a bit more. I didn't bother with that. I went ahead and just went for the standard black Sharpie, figured it was going to be close enough. And overall, I've been happy with that result. But you can absolutely take it up to that next notch if you want to, or if you just happen to have a bunch of Sharpies laying around, right? So just going to kind of go ahead, take some time. Obviously, this does become a little bit time consuming, especially if you're trying to do an entire set like I did. I actually went ahead and did two full sets, basically, because I wanted enough for two people to be able to play with just my token set. So that's going to be time consuming. And if you already struggle to have the hobby time, it may be better to either just use the cardboard tokens or pick up a premium set. But if you've got the hobby time and you want to tackle it, this is kind of a cool little additional project you can take on to add another level to your tokens. And it does protect them from water damage and that sort of thing because they're just totally covered in acrylic. So again, just finishing up, you can see how it does take a little bit of time. Um, you don't want too much spillover, but you don't have to be super precise at the same time. And it dries pretty fast. So you can get started on them basically right away. So the Dimensional Magic product has a little bit thicker consistency than what you would probably imagine for a product like this. So you're just going to really need to get a decent layer on the top of it and then spread it around. Um, but this is kind of the big thing that you're going to end up wanting to see probably before you tackle it. So you have some idea of what you're getting yourself into. Um, the big things are is you want to try to avoid as many bubbles as possible. So you want to make sure as you're getting the, uh, the liquid out that you don't end up dropping a bubble onto the token um, or like a bubble of air because it's it actually is pretty obnoxious to try to get it off. Um, but you don't need a ton on there. Just kind of like let it ease out, get a little bit on each token. Um, you don't have to worry about spreading it around completely with the Mod Podge bottle. Um, what I do is once I have that decent amount on each of the tokens, then I'm gonna go ahead and just take an old paintbrush like this and I'm just gonna kind of spread it around make sure I've hit the edges. It is just thick enough that it's not going to spill over the edge unless you really put too much on there. So again, m more is less, or sorry, less is more in this particular case. Just kind of go easy with it, especially as you're starting off, if you're going to do this on your first couple of tokens. So just get enough on there, smooth it out a little bit. You can always add a few more drops if you feel like it's necessary or if it feels like it's gone on too thin. Um, and you can do that even probably, you know, 10 minutes later. The stuff doesn't dry that fast. So just kind of get your basic layer going there. And then once you have that finished, what you're going to do here is you're just going to let it dry. Um, you can probably work on the second side after about six to eight hours. But definitely, like before you put it in any kind of token case or put any kind of real pressure on it, let it, let it completely dry. Give it a full 24 hours. Um, so it's completely dry. So before starting this video, basically about 24 hours ago, I went ahead and I did three other tokens and completely did one side of them. So it would be totally dry. So I could also show you that I try to use the paintbrush to hit the edges like this, just so I can give it kind of that full acrylic covering. Um, a lot of people don't take this additional step. It's not super necessary, but I'm a little bit of a masochist. So I just figured, hey, let's go through it. Let's just get it totally covered and then I'm going to be happier with the end result. But what I don't like is to create three steps. So I try to do one side and then go along the edges 
and make sure if there is spillover that it's going on to the side that I haven't put the acrylic layer on yet. So that'll kind of cover that up because you can easily end up where it's kind of the edge is visible. So again, I do one side, then I'll go ahead and do the edges. And if I have to have a little bit of spillover from the brush, um, just try to make it on the cardboard side. And again, as you can see, if you add this step to your progress, it is going to slow you down a little bit. So this is going to be a kind of a personal question you'll have to ask yourself is, do you want to take the time for this step or not? But I like it. Again, kind of create a bunch of work for myself, but I've been pretty happy with people constantly asking me, you know, how or where did I get my token set? I'm like, hey guys, this is just the, you know, the original tokens just with this dimensional magic product put on top of it. So, all right, we're just about done with these three tokens. And we're going to go ahead and then put on, even while this is drying, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the, hit the final step of Dimensional Magic so that I can just let this stuff totally dry and then I'll be done with it. So, all right, just wrapping up here. Okay, so that's, that's the edges of the three tokens. Now, again, just trying to make sure I don't get bubbles. Put a little bit on there. Okay, just a little bit more. Uh, again, I was not holding it at a great angle, so I did get a bubble in here. So you guys are gonna have to see me deal with that, um, which is kind of annoying. Not sure how well the video is picking up the bubble with the shine, but first thing I'm gonna do, I just wanna get the, the two tokens that I'm not gonna mess with spread out. Um, so it's just totally covering that edge. And then get the other one. All right, that looks good, all right. Second one, again, this is just kind of getting it spread out, making sure it's got the complete coverage, there isn't any gaps, because sometimes if you just let it smooth out itself, there'll be little spots where it doesn't quite let it get to. So try to have a paper towel handy so that if I get a little bit bubble, you almost kind of have to scoop it off because it doesn't really want to let you pop. It's got just too thick of consistency to, um, to just let you like poke it. So I often have to like have a little paper towel handy. Um, in this case, I got a little bit extra that started dripping over while I was getting that off. So wipe that away. In some cases, if that happens, you may end up needing to put another layer on the other side if it doesn't dry smooth over there. But I created another tiny bubble in the process. So you can see if you're taking these all these steps and then you get a bubble, it can slow you down a lot. So just gonna put a little bit more dimensional magic on here and then I'm gonna get it all smoothed out. Again, just use a, you know, use an old paintbrush that you've beat up and has dried and it'll kind of like create a hard paintbrush pretty fast, but I end up using the same brush for this over and over again. Um, and then if I move it around, I try not to touch it because the stuff will stick to my fingers. So I'll just take the edge of the paintbrush and, and shift it over. But here's a final token. So you can kind of see just how they look. These are the ones that are straight out of my token set already done on both sides. And they look great. And I've, like I said, I've had a ton of people ask where I got them from. And really, like I said, it's just the base token set and then pick up Mod Podge. You can get it at um, Amazon, you can get it at Michaels, Joanne Fabrics, but either way, what you guys should do, try this out. Maybe someone will take a look at your tokens and be like, damn, those tokens are just too OP. Later then.